Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Passion Life. Here we are today at Radin Mas CC. I am your host for today, Tosh. And basically in this show, in every episode, we bring you courses and classes that you can access anytime from the comfort of your home and learn new skills and, you know, enjoy yourself basically at home with your family members. So today we have our instructor here, Nara. Hello, everyone. Yeah. So Nara, can you share with us what are we going to learn today? You're going to learn to do some painting on cookies. Painting on cookies. Okay, Painting. this is my very first time experiencing something like that. <laughs> which is good, which is good. All my uh, students uh, are all very new. Okay, yes. and I see... Uh, okay, at first I was imagining uh, very simple uh, drawings or paintings on cookies. <laughs> but as you can see here, uh, some examples that Nara has, has here, yes, yeah. it's really, really intricate. The details are amazing. So, uh, how long did it take you to actually get to the level you're at? Uh, I've been painting for about three, four years. Uh huh. Yeah. So were you an art student or you do no, this? No, I wasn't an art student at all. I was uh, the recent courses that I took during uh, poly days, Singapore uh -huh. poly. I took landscape architect. So that's oh, where wow. the fl floral comes in. Yeah. <laughs> so are you doing this uh, full time now? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it full time. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so what are the basics that we can do right now? Basics, uh, okay, for, for this class? Uh, yes. Okay, for this class, uh, I have like a guide notes for you. You can look at ah, it. Okay, so right? here we have hand painted sure. cookies with Nara. Yeah, uh, yeah. So basically, we I will teach them the, the how to paint on cookies. Uh -huh. So let's say if you don't have like uh, the materials here right now, right, what we have right here is actually fondant on cookies, right? So what I'm using is uh, you can use any type of cookies, but I'm using digestive cookies. So it's ready ah, made, yeah. Okay. And then on top of it, I'm using fondant. Yeah. So fondant, you can actually look, uh, check out online how to make them, or you can also buy a ready made fondant online. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah. So, so these how, are the basic designs yes. that we're gonna learn today. Yes. So I'm gonna teach you the basic first, the leaves, and then I will proceed on with the floral. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But so today yeah. I'm gonna focus just the leaves and roses, so you get to do the sample that I did. Okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, cool. Uh, so what you need first? You, uh, yeah. First thing first, Put wear on your gloves. gloves. But if you're at home, you can just wash your hands. Okay. So actually, you can actually paint this on canvas and everything. Yeah. As well, right? Yes. Yes. I usually uh, at home, other than cookies, I paint on bags. I paint on shoes. Yeah. Anything mm. I can paint on, I will paint. <laughs> Even my mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, other than flowers, what, what other uh, designs do you like painting? Uh, for for now, I'm really fo I'm focusing more on florals. Ah. Yeah. Okay. People keep asking me about florals, so I just I just keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ready? Yes. Hang on, I'm waiting. <laughs> exactly. Yes, my very first time doing this. Okay, uh, there's a uh, when you do on food, right? Especially food related, you got to use a brand new brush, right? So make sure it's brand new, and make sure you can find if you can find the smallest brush. That's that's good. So first thing first, you got to wash your brush, right? Just dip into water, yeah. Dip. Okay. Dip. Yeah. Dip. Dip. And make sure you press it up so there's no any wet. Yeah, so it's ready? Okay, can. Okay. Okay, so you can take your cookie. So I'm taking mine here. Oops. Okay. And then... So which design are we gonna do we're first? We're gonna do the leaf first. Oh, so uh, this this green one here? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. You wanna practice first on paper? Since I have this paper right here. Ah, okay, yes, okay, okay. since yeah. if you're scared. Yeah, sure. Alright, so first thing first. You can take the colour that you want. Yeah, one, that one is uh, green, the other one is red. You can take the oh, red. Oh, real? Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Yeah. Ah, okay, I'll start with green. Green. So, when you want to paint, right? Your brush have to be straight up ahead. Right? And then, just point them. Point on paper. And then, slowly press it down. And let the brush, brush spread. And then, you slowly go up. And then, you draw a very thin line after that. Can you see? Yeah, you realise that your leaf is very skinny. So what yeah. you need? <laughs> okay, okay, let's try again. You can always add a bit of white onto your brush. Yeah, again. Point again, point. Make sure you spread the brush. 
Also apply pressure. Yeah, apply pressure. pressure. Okay. Apply pressure and then draw a line. Okay, if it's still thin, right? Let's do one more time again. You look at you look at me first. Uh -huh. Point. Apply pressure one side. You can always apply another side. The other side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 Give it another try. Yeah. Apply pressure and then pull up. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, then you go the other side so it's thicker. Wow, okay, this is not this is extremely <laughs> this is not easy at all. Every little uh, pressure that you apply yes, right really changes matters, the look of it. Yes. So you you gotta try again. You can follow the uh, guide notes that I gave you. Okay. You can try the second leaf. This one. Uh, how do yeah. you do that very, very thin... Thin line. You just yeah. don't add pressure. Oh, so, just so very just, light. Just... Really. Yeah. So point, add pressure. Oh, okay, okay. And then you go to the other side again. And then you draw a very thin line. Apply pressure, pull it up. Then... Yeah. So you got to do it twice. <laughs> so okay. for, your, for you, you are going to do it twice. So you do one, and then you go do the other side. Ah, okay, okay. So it's thicker. Okay, one. Don't be shy when you apply pressure. Just go all the way down. Mm. Is it better? Alamak, my leaf like koyak. Can, can, can. <laughs> stick, can, stick, can, stick, can. How, how long did it take you to like be able to do it very, very uh, smoothly? Because uh, I'm doing this full time. So I kind of pain every single day. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. So initially, did you learn yourself or you went for classes? I, I learned myself. Now you have YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I, I I just love florals, that's why. Right. Uh -huh. So my interest is there, so when I go online I tend to search more on florals. Hmm? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for, for the stem, right? When you do a a permanent line stem, right, it will uh -huh. look like a very planned piece. So if let's say you just do Oh, uh, so you, that means don't I, make it too symmetrical. Too symmetrical, and yes. Usually, if you want to do leaves, right? Usually, it's not so. Smooth. Yeah. So you basically you just do the leaves, the leaves first, and then the the stem. How's it? Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, not bad at all. <laughs> Okay, uh... Yeah, just keep doing. After this, we will touch on roses straight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not bad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Actually. <laughs> yeah, you should do the whole set. Like, uh, this whole set. Okay. Yeah. You can make it longer, just, uh... Make it longer lah, when you apply pressure. Uh, are these materials uh Okay, I'm using uh food coloring. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, so, so uh, I can buy for, it anywhere at Yeah, you uh, can, but uh make sure it's gel food coloring. Gel if it's food water coloring. based when you uh -huh. play with fondant, fondant is sugar. So when you add water you become very watery and sticky. So you I don't see. want that. So it's best to use gel food coloring. So it stays at the top, not actually sink into the uh fondant so uh -huh. yeah. Then yeah, no bit. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay, it definitely looks better than the yes, first, the yes, first yes. one. The first one really <laughs> cannot make it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Okay, next one is florals. Uh, I'm going to teach you roses. Okay. So, uh, if you want to use another colour, you got to wash your brush. Okay, wash. Okay, fondant don't like water so much. Because it's sugar, right? So, yeah. make sure you want to use the other, uh, use a different colour. Wipe your brush. Do you have a tissue with you? Thank you. No problem. Okay, next okay. one is roses. Roses are a bit tricky. Okay, if you realize the, the colouring is quite thick, you can have the, the paint for oh, yourself. Okay. Oh yeah, don't yeah. need to social distance with the paint. I don't know why I do it. <laughs> okay, so you can add a bit of white to the red. Yeah, so basically... Uh, also, I dip the white first. Oh, you can take the red onto the white. I already oh, okay, okay. a bit of white. Yeah. Take more red also can. Just pick it up. Okay. Yeah, pick, pick, pick it up on and then put on the white. Yeah, and then you Dust. mix it up. Yeah. So it becomes lighter. Ah, okay. 
Okay, okay. Tata? Yes. Small, smooth, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, for roses, usually when you see uh, roses, yeah. the, the inner part is very compact. Mm. So you gotta, when you paint also, you gotta paint very close to each other. Alright? So for roses, I always do the inner part first. I do 1C and 2C. You can always add apply pressure. 2C, overlap each other. 2C. Yeah, and then again, second layer, press and turn. Press and turn. Yeah, make sure it touch the petal that you are doing, right? Make sure it touches the petal before. Yeah, so you, have, oh. you gotta treat it as a petal itself okay. right now. Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, slowly you can add a bit of white to your paint. So it gets lighter and lighter. So another layer, the side. Another, keep, just keep doing until you're happy with the touch, right? So every layer has to touch? Yeah. Okay. One side, yeah. You just, uh, act, uh, just imagine you are painting a real rose. So make sure that when you paint the petal, the petal must touch each other. If not, it will look like a maze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mine is already. I don't know what mine looks like. <laughs> uh, is it? Yeah, not bad. Not so. Okay, not bad. Not, okay, bad, not uh, bad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 You can do a few more. Okay. You can fill up the whole paper, and then your paper will be very nice. Actually, this is very therapeutic. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yes. Now you know why I'm doing this full time, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's so the do best a lot of guys time. Go for your, for yeah, your yeah, I, we do. We do have a lot of guys. Mm. So, this is the best time during this CB period. Mm. You get to do it at home. Yes. Yes. And really sometimes, strange. do you uh, feel bad about eating the cookies that you make? Because it, it looks good. But, but nice. after a while, you have to eat it. <laughs> you can't keep it for so long, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so are you ready to paint on cookies? Uh, I think so. Yes, okay, let's go. Okay, uh, let's do the roses first okay. and then straight onto the leaves. Since you are already using uh, red, red okay. paint, right? Yeah, you can always take more red paint. You can do the roses onto your... Uh, so we do it in the middle or... A anywhere you want. Or but best want to use, uh, not, not to the corner, off-center lah. Off-center or okay, center. Okay. The feeling is different, right? Yeah. Totally different. You can take one as a reference too. You can take one as a reference. Oh. Yeah. So basically, I fill up the whole cookie with roses and then at the end of it, I add leaves. Yeah. So you can play with colours like add a bit of white, a bit of different tones of red. I realise this is a lot about feeling. Uh. Ah, yeah. Like, don't really have to follow a certain... Uh, like... What am I saying? I mean, <laughs> don't have to follow... There's, there's uh, no right and wrong. Ah, as yeah, long yeah, as yeah, you yeah. are onto it, into it, then it's fine. There's no right and wrong. As long as you're happy with your product, then you're fine. Important is to make yourself happy. Yes. And to calm you down, if you have anxiety problems, this is the best. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope my... Okay, like, it kind of looks like a rose. Yeah, okay, and then after that, you can add in leaves. So leaves, right, make sure it's always going towards the flower. So when you add green, you look at it, deep, press it down. So you go towards the flower. I'm sure your leaves will be nice. <laughs> try my best, try my best. Yes, you can. Have you ever done a green rose with red leaves? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe, yes, so definitely. <laughs> oh, have you done orchids? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. It is, uh, what's but the most... orchid is more, more challenging to do. Ah. What's the most uh, difficult flower? Uh, for me, orchid. Yeah. Okay. Sunflower? Sunflower is easy. Easy, quite easy. You want to learn now? <laughs> oh, yeah, I learned this one first. <laughs> yeah, you got to master one flower at a time. Okay. 
Just keep adding leaves. Oh, this would be a very fun activity to do at home with, with yes, kids, yes, yeah, with even kids couples also, yes. as well. So I, I can make this for Valentine's Day next time. Ah, yeah, and you then, can. Ah, ah, no, idea, no, idea. yes, yes. <laughs> it's different than you buy something, right? Yeah. Just make it your own. I think people will appreciate it more also because yeah. it's uh, handmade. So do, so do people get you to do like custom for them for events and things uh, like for that? For cookies, I usually teach them more than I actually make them. I make it ah, okay. yeah, pre-order. I prefer to teach them. Because sometimes they, 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 a few of them ask me to do, but then it's quite a large number. Yeah, because my Also, they order like a few hundred at a time. Yeah. Okay, so the materials, right, where can we... Where can we get where, it? Where, where can we get it? Oh, you yeah. can get it at uh, any baking shop or I think supermarket also has. Uh -huh. As long as it's uh, gel base. Gel, uh, gel base. So it's a uh, gel food colouring. Yeah, so you can choose any, any as long as you are Muslim, you can choose the halal ones. And then oh, for, I never knew there were... There, uh, there, were, there, oh, was, okay, uh, okay, there okay. will be a halal one. Uh, but most of them, even there's no halal, it's basically when you look at the ingredients, it's all food. Food base. Oh, okay, yeah, food okay, colouring okay. is basically from food base. So I think it's fine. Mm. Okay, I'll do some fun things. That these材料you can buy in uh, in a super hot market. And you can go to those who sell baking goods. And you have to remember that you buy gel based. Ah, gel is ah not that kind of hair gel. Ah, okay, it's ah just can eat the paint the gel. Yeah, make sure you can eat. Okay. Yeah, 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 can eat. Can eat. 然后有各种各样的颜色，但是我觉得最重要就是买青色还有红色啊。啊，那白的。呃，黑椒 and 咩啦？耶，白的。Okay, so are you happy? Oh, you want to add more flowers? You should add more flowers. I should add one more flower. Yeah. Okay, 那我现在要加呃多多一点呃青色，青色的花。Okay, you can play with colors lah. So you can play with light red. Yeah, since you really have a dark red, right? Yeah. So you play with different tones. 所以各位阿哥阿弟，你们在家可以试这个，这个其实做的很舒服，可以跟你的孙子啊，跟你的孩子啊、家人啊，全部一起做。还有有小孩子的爸爸妈妈，你们都可以一起。<笑> yeah, especially with kids. Yeah. They will love it, I tell you. <笑> so and it's the best time for you to bond with your kids. Yeah, man. Do you do you have kids? Ah, uh, no. Soon, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> But if it's not just kids, even elderly, everyone. I'm sure every single one, once you start doing it, and then when they look what you're doing, they want to try. Yeah, this one is, I think you appeal to people of all ages. All ages, definitely. Yeah. My, my students are all from all ages. And it doesn't mean ladies, you know. <laughs> and then after you did all this, you can keep the cookies inside an airtight jar. Yeah, but don't. Uh, I advise not to keep it inside the fridge because it's made of fondant, and fondant and it's made of sugar. When you put it inside the fridge, and then it will last quite long. But when once you let it, once you bring it out, it will melt. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, same okay. like chocolate. Once you put it inside the fridge, it will melt, and then you have to eat it right away. But if you leave it inside a very airtight jar, it can last for you about two to three weeks. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes they paint so nice, they don't want to eat straight away. They, they just want to look at it, then and look at it, and then after a while, yeah, once you're ready, you just eat lah. And then this is perfect when you eat with when you drink coffee, and then got a dessert by the side. Mm. <laughs> oh, actually, all this would be very nice if it's like served at a cafe. Yes, like definitely that. yes. So these oh, those cookies oh, you can store in Tupperware, or in that airtight jar. Ah. Then, uh, if you store it, you can store it for about two to three weeks. So, uh, try not to put it in the fridge because the cookies are hot. Then, if you put it in the fridge, it will melt. Then, if you put it in the fridge, it will melt. Then, if you put it in the fridge, it will melt. Then, if you put it in the fridge, it will melt. Then, if you put it in the fridge, it will melt. Then, if you put it in the fridge, it Okay, now I want to add a rose. Yeah, Aiden, if you plan to bake your own cookies, try to bake uh, that is uh, less, uh, less sweet. Because the fondant is already very sweet. So if you, if you plan to bake your own cookies, make sure you bake uh, less sweet. And then when you top, top, with, top it up with fondant, right, it tastes just nice. That's why I'm using digestive cookies. 
So actually, we can also uh, make chocolate chip cookies yeah. and everything. Yeah, Just nice, add fondant nice. at the top. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually doing better than I... Expected, than I, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, right? Gonna... Seems like you are, you are very engrossed. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, if, uh, if I want to, uh, let's say, a tip for you guys. If you're using uh, gel paste, food colouring, onto a fondant, try not to mix with water so much. Because fondant don't like water. So, every time you pick a colour, you can straight away onto the uh, fondant itself. And then you want to change colour. Wash your brush onto the mineral water. Wipe it with tissue. Okay? Then you are ready for the next colour lah. Oh, I, I, I forgot to dry my brush. Ah, that's why you realise that your your cookie on the fondant, right? It's very watery yeah. and very sticky. Okay, now you are in the brush, uh, your brush can't be too dry. Because fondant doesn't like water, like a cat doesn't like water. So your brush can be dry and then you can dry. Okay? Alright. Okay guys, so we have come Unfortunately, to the end of today's segment, I was really enjoying myself getting into it. Uh, can you guys let me know whether I'm, I'm doing okay? <laughs> okay, so how many points will you give me a point five? Hey, for first timer, not so bad. It's really, really, uh? really good. Yes, yes. Wow, okay, okay, okay. You have okay, no okay. experience, definitely, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Wow. Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad not at bad, all. Not bad, not uh. bad. Okay, I, I, I bring it home and show my mom. Yeah. Alright, guys, so we have come to the end of today's lesson. And if you would like to find out more, you can visit www.1pa.sg. So, once again, we want to thank our instructor for today, Nara. One, thank sir, you. One, thank round you of applause so for much. her. Yeah, so see you guys next time. This is Passion Live.